many of them are meeting me for the first time. I hope to meet more often, maybe even today. Uh, cleanliness is a matter of great concern, a very important concern for us. And we thank the organizers today for choosing our school to make this important issue uh, starting from the school. People say that cleanliness is next to godliness. I don't believe that cleanliness will produce godliness. But definitely, godliness will produce cleanliness. There's a difference. And we try our best to struggle almost every day here in the school to keep this school clean, healthy, and beautiful. It is a matter of heart. And that is why we give you a lot of importance to this area. It's an attitude. You don't have to be poor or you don't have to be rich in order to be clean. A poor person can contribute a lot. A poor society can keep the society clean. So also rich countries and rich families. Once during the beginning of the school, I took a few students to UK. There were about six or eight of us. And the first impression they got as they stepped into UK was that it was so clean. No pepper litters fluttering around. No muddy place. All the places were uh, like manicured compound. Imagine the whole country being manicured. We hardly try, we hardly achieve cleanliness within our own compound. I think one of the clean places. Uh, ironically, in Kohima, is the war cemetery. War cemetery is not a very delightful place. If you go to any country or any city, you don't try to visit a cemetery. Maybe that's the last place. But visitors to Kohima, and especially the young people, they like to visit the war cemetery here in Kohima. Of course, it's a historical place, but it is so clean and very well kept. Every inch of land there is manicured with flowers, grass, and trees. And so I don't blame young people going and spending a good time there with the dead bodies below them. <coughs> But I'm hoping that an organization like this would one day uh, build a park for young people, better than the war cemetery. It should be for young people to spend their good time there in a healthy atmosphere. So that is one of my dreams. As far as Northfield is concerned, my only wish for the student is to keep your classroom clean. Every year, my main struggle on a daily basis is to check students from spitting on the wall. Boys especially eating talaps or other Bitter nut substances or tobacco substances and spitting on the wall is very unsightly. So I make it an attempt that every day 
our school is free from spittles, especially in the classroom. Near the waste box, you, it is often seen that the walls are smattered with spittles. It is a sign, it is a reflection and manifestation of your attitude. And therefore, to keep your mind clean, to keep your attitude in order, make, it, make your classroom be manifested with cleanliness. Now, cleanliness in the compound is very important. Cleanliness around the city is very important. But more important of all is cleanliness of the heart. You may have very beautiful, very clean house surrounding, but if your mind is not clean, that defeats the whole purpose. But let us start. Take a small step by reflecting upon our hearts on a daily basis. Keep our mind free from dirt, make it clean every day, so that from your classroom to the school compound, to the city and surrounding, we hope that this God-given land of ours would be blessed with cleanliness. We have such a wonderful weather, such clean air, we had the most clean water, which is getting dirty now. I hope our students and the students in general will take a small step each every day and make a world of difference in our city. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Our managing director, Sir Felipele, gave gave some new idea of cleanliness. Our organizers are here to keep our city clean, but our managing director emphasized the need to clean our mind also. That is also very very important. So when, once the mind is clean, our attitude will change. So automatically the entire Kohima will be clean. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you uh, so much for the, orga the organizers also organizing this program in our school. I don't know what, what is the next agenda, I don't know. Okay, okay. Then I think uh, sir also will speak. Okay.